so welcome back so in this session we will see one of the selenium feature that is uh, taking screenshots so selenium 4 providing two new types of uh, uh, taking screenshots one is uh, it is a taking a full page screenshot and it is only available for firefox driver only so if you are using firefox browser then you can take a full page screenshot and we will be seeing um, uh, how we can take a full screenshot full page screenshot if it is not a firefox driver we will be using some other uh, class from J one of the java library and then we will see how we can achieve that one okay so that is about taking a full page screenshot and the another one is taking an element screenshot it means that you can take a particular element only taking screenshot of a particular element so it can be a single element or it can be a group of element if that has a parent element so if you take a parent element screenshot then all the child elements inside that will be coming in that screenshot okay so this is one of the good feature that selenium 4 uh, is giving to us because before if you talk about a full page screenshot then we have to use some other uh, third party libraries to take that full page screenshot but now it is inbuilt and probably uh, coming forward they might be implementing that for all of the other browsers as well okay and element screenshot is again a kind of most important thing because sometimes what happens you don't don't want to take a, a full page screenshot or a page screenshot if you want to just uh, look into a particular element let's say that uh, you got a bug and then uh, you you are taking a screenshot on the failed test once a test got failed you take a screenshot and you want to give that to a particular dev team to fix that or you want to raise a defect or bug and then you want to attach that screenshot so at that time what happens you have to kind of uh, uh, what do you call it? utilize some other tools like if it is windows or mac and then you have to crop it uh, with the required elements and then you have to attach that so that's where you will be saving time because you are only taking that screenshot of the intended uh, position only or intended size only you don't want to take a complete page screenshot okay so as you can see uh, for firefox driver there is a method available that is get full page screenshot edge and then output file as you all of uh, know about what this output type file because it will just convert that into that particular file type okay so get get full page screenshot edge is the method and this is again available only for Firefox driver so that's why I'm casting here if the driver is let's say that a common driver you are taking then you have to cast it okay the same thing for taking an element you have to first identify the element that you are going to take the screenshot once you have identified that element you can just call element dot get screenshot as method so before uh, before to selenium 4 like how you used to get element dot click element dot send case so the same way they have added another method that is get screenshot edge okay so we will be seeing these two features today uh, how we can implement uh, by using the java code that's what we are going to see so there is a change log if you uh, let me open that okay so as you can see this is the change log for selenium java if i search for a screenshot okay so you will be getting two screenshot feature changes one is your 4.0 alpha 1 release where you can see here element screenshotting is now possible okay the same thing there is again on the alpha 2 release they have taken enable full page screenshot and this is again for only firefox browser okay so these two different varieties of screenshots we are going to see okay so before going to that let me just give you a heads up about um, because we were talking about if a test case is failing then what you need to do so if a test case is failing then how do you take that screenshot we have already uh, discussed about that so as you can see if your login is failing let's say that and you want to capture that particular error message so what do you want to do first you want to check in the try block 
if it is logged in successful then you just proceed with that if it is failed then you have to just print something because if it is failing then it will go the control will go to the catch block right see fail means what you are not getting the expected element it means that it will throw you an exception probably a no such element exception or a timeout exception so based on that in the catch block we have to capture that screenshot and this will be going to the uh, specified directory wherever you are using okay as you can see get screenshot as and this ts is nothing but my the uh, what you call cast uh, casted driver actually the same thing we are doing here get screenshot as so the same thing here also we are using but now instead of a take screenshot driver we can use the element also it is pretty simple that but yeah the uh, the most important thing is that how it is critical for a selenium a framework or something to take that element screenshot okay so the same thing for full page screenshot sometimes what happens like uh, if i want to compare let's say that in previous build or previous release of your product there was the layout was different but now the layout is uh, again they got changed because you got a major release of your product so that time you might want to take screenshot of each release and then you want to keep that as a reference actually just to see how it is you might be using this uh, taking a full page screenshot and you can just want to see the difference whether the layout is correct or not okay so that case it is mostly essential but yes i will be going to show about how we can take the selenium's default full page screenshot and if it is not firefox driver or browser how do you handle that along with the element screenshot okay so let's get started into the code implementation okay so for this i am going to take this swag labs um, uh, demo uh, application so here what i will do if you see here like i am taking some username and password if i click on login you can see it is giving me one uh, error prompt with a icon actually so if i capture this error text i will be getting only this portion only but this icon i cannot capture and keep it into a string so for that reason what i'm going to do if you highlight this one so you can see uh, let me go to the elements tab and expand this one so if you see here this is under a h3 tag so if i take this h3 tag as it is and take a screenshot of this particular like how much it is highlighting and i can take directly from the test case or the i can attach directly into the report so whoever is my higher authority or the dev team if i'm sending directly they can see where exactly the error or what i'm going to uh convey them the about the product defect so this will become easy like let's say that if i'm taking entire screenshot they might not able to get where exactly the problem i am pointing to the dev team so that's where this will be applicable so for this we will be taking one hypothetical scenario that is i will be taking a wrong credentials but i will consider that as a valid credential only and i would expect if i click on login it should log in successfully so if i log in successfully there will be one product uh, what do you call text i will be identifying that if that is identifiable then my test case is passed if that is not there then it would fail the same scenario just to give you an heads up let me show you that so if you see here we are taking the same thing only so here if you see there is nothing but one product label label if it is if it is identifiable then cross i mean i don't want to take a screenshot if it is failing it means that if i am getting some kind of that error then here what i am going to do instead of taking that page screenshot i want to take that h3 tag screenshot only this one only this particular screenshot and the code will remain same like whatever we have discussed here okay so let's see that uh, so let me switch to intellij okay so here i will create one new java class and i will say screenshot sample or just say screenshot one some name okay and here what i will do i will first write the before method concept here where i will be just logging in uh, to the application or i i will be like uh, launching my 
driver or Firefox browser and then I will render that particular application so for that what I will do I have already this one oh okay so these both names are same so let me just do one thing uh, oops sorry let me refactor this one to let's say samples okay and then okay okay fine now here what I will do these are pretty simple things so I will be copy pasting as it is just to save time okay so my before method is ready now here I'm going to create that test method or the test okay and here I will say let me copy paste that portion as well because this is very straightforward there is nothing much here we have and here I need to say public void and here I will say that element screenshot okay some name I'm giving some method name and I don't want okay so now here this is not yet implemented so let's keep it now let's understand line by line so here I'm just logging in trying to log in so consider this particular username and password as your valid credentials so I would expect that I should see this product level element okay but in the but unfortunately this will not go because I am giving knowingly wrong credentials so then it will reach out to the catch block so here what I am doing I am identifying that element that is nothing but the error okay so if you see that error is nothing but this one so if you go here this one that has three tag okay and here what I will do I will write a screenshot uh, method actually which will accept that element and driver as a parameter so for that what I will do I will write the same thing and I will not return anything so let's make it as void okay and then here bev element because I'm going to pass that one right so bev element comma web driver and then driver fine so here I will be writing that functionality okay to take that screenshot fine so for this what I will be doing okay so what I will do first I'll take a file object and let's make it as a new IMG equal to I will take because I told you they are providing a get screenshot as method as a out of box so I need not to do anything but this will accept a particular parameter that is nothing but my output type dot file okay so this is the syntax actually so for this let me import this file okay file class I have imported now here what I will write as usual the try block only uh, you all know about how it was before it was happening so the same thing here I will write the logic for the try catch block so for this what I will do again let me go here and I have already this one so I'm just sure copy pasting this line this should stay under the try block and then this will yeah just e dot and here what I will do exception E and here let me just print track trace print start trace okay so that much and let me just import that uh, exception fine okay so let's try to execute this code okay so for this this is a test method so I can directly right click and run as and you can see I'm taking Firefox driver here okay even you can take Chrome driver also for taking element screenshot there is no problem you can take anything okay so now it is entering the username password and you can see it is throwing that error and now it will take that screenshot and yes it closes the browser as well so now if I refresh this one just a second okay and here if I go this one yeah I just read a naming convention is wrong actually this is not full page screenshot this is uh, uh, yeah let's do one thing okay for this timing so you can see this is my 
that error now what i can do so if you are using extent report or something some other report or early reporting what you can do you can directly attach to your html report whatever it is there now what will happen based on your test case this particular screenshot will be attached now if you are giving your html report let's say in jenkins if your manager or if your dev team or your product owner anybody is looking into that report they will come to understand that this particular error is related to this particular test case so they need not if you are taking a full page screenshot they might be confusing that where exactly that error is there so just to save a little bit of time this is more convenient for uh, all of us okay so that's how we will be taking a element screenshot now if you see this one we are not taking a particular element not only this element only we are this s3 tag is basically a parent element under that this icon and this text is there okay so if you want to only take this particular text then what you can do you can just go with the uh, like under this if you see okay there is no specific uh, what do you call elements are there because these are all uh, yeah if uh, like let's say if you want to take only screenshot of this uh, cross mark only i mean i don't know why but yes if you want to take it then you can just go with this button button class error button if you uh, identify that element and then element dot get screenshot as then you will be only seeing this particular icon screenshot only just for an instance i'm talking okay so that's how you can do fine okay taking screenshot uh, uh, element screenshot is done now the second feature we are going to see is that taking a full page screenshot we will be seeing what is the selenium force default uh, uh, screenshot or out of box whatever it is coming and then the second one how we can achieve if it is not a firefox browser and some other browser so let's get started for that as well so for that what i will do i will take another test class i mean test method and here i will say public void and here i will say full page test full page short test some name method name i am taking okay fine and here what i will do just to avoid the confusion i will take element screenshot and i will remove this one delete this existing screenshot here fine okay so here what i will do for this uh, I have again written, I have already written that particular methods. So let me just go back to this one. So if you see this second test method is uh, basically it is a successful login because if you see this particular screen, uh, if I take a full page screenshot or a normal screenshot, it would stay like this because uh, there is no scrolling available here. So if I log into this, like I will show you real quick that one manually. And if I give this one as well, so you can see this is scrollable actually for me okay so if i would have used the uh, existing screenshot uh, like the take screenshot uh, driver casting dot get screenshot as i will be getting only this much only but if i take full page screenshot i will get entire page i mean i need not to even scroll it as well so that is what we are going to see so for that i need to take a valid scenario so let me copy paste this is again from my existing sample which i prepared before so i'm copy pasting here and you can see this is not yet implemented okay so let me implement this capture full page sort so here i will be using this one and this will only accept now driver only because uh, i mean uh, we don't want to take any specific elements right and this should be void okay and let's copy paste that particular and if you see here capture full page screenshot it is here and then let me take this one now here uh, what it is doing this driver i mean my driver is already because it is web driver driver i'm taking so here firefox driver i'm casting it and then get full page screenshot as that is the out of box selenium whatever method is providing and the rest things are same only and here i'm taking that full page shot only now for this what i will be doing the first one i will just ignore it I, if i comment this test tag then it will not run this particular test and then only it will run this one only so let me just run this one real quick 
and this is only available for Firefox browser only. Okay, logged in and it should take a full page screenshot. Okay, so now let's see the full page screenshot. You can see entire screenshot came in. Uh, I mean, if you see in reality, you will get, be getting only this much only. But now the entire screenshot you got it okay so like that you can do now let's say that you are not using firefox browser or firefox driver for chrome you want to perform that one so for that we have something called as a a sort class and this is again a java library and if i show you that one here you can see so this is coming from yandex qa tools a sort a sort so by using this one you can take the entire page screenshot so there is a method available i have already written so here this is the way and let me copy paste this one and here and this is again pretty much simple let me just show you so you have to use a screenshot object and this is coming from the a short package only or a short class and here what you need to do a sort you have to create an object and after that you have to use the shooting strategy one of the what you call method available and after that you have to go for a viewport pasting and there taking a one second of time uh, where it will be just taking a time to take that screenshot and take screenshot driver is the object here okay so that is what we are going to use now here what i can do i can pass the web driver as well fine okay so now you can see the error is gone here and it should take a full page screenshot and put it under this particular uh, what you call folder here okay so I am taking here PNG so what I can do even I can make it as PNG no oops, P not M it should be N okay now let's call this particular code base uh, I mean method okay so I am commenting my uh, the selenium's default one and i'm taking that a short it's not old it is still valid but i'm just keeping that as old so that it will be applicable so here i will write applicable for all browsers okay just for understanding now let me run this test again okay and at this time let me delete this one just so that the one which we will be getting should be a new one okay so what is the name full page short underscore old okay so now let's run this test okay so it will take the valid login okay so let's see test case passed but uh, do we really got the full page screenshot let's see Yes, we got it. And you can see the name is uh, underscore all dot PNG, but before it was a IMG file, JPG file. So that's how you can utilize it. Fine. So th that's pretty much uh, the about the screenshotting feature for the Selenium 4. And uh, I will be posting a blog on this so that you can get the entire uh, code base and uh, give it a try and uh, try to edit even your existing code base. Because while we were discussing about Selenium features in our blog, I told that um, you can take a copy of your existing uh, code base and then put it into another folder just for uh, to be safe uh, to stay safe because uh, it might not impact your uh, real time code base and then you can just use all these features and try to update your code with the new features and see how this reacts after that you can continue on that okay so uh, before also we have seen capturing a screenshot for an alert so you can just refer to this one also like for some time if you want to take a alert screenshot so alerts are a bit tricky because they they are not part of your browser so you cannot use these methods which we were discussing so you have to use some other approach uh, by doing uh, for taking that uh, screenshot uh, for an instance you can have to use the robot class to take that screenshot and for a failing scenario you can refer to this link i will be putting all these links into the description below so you can refer that okay so so far we have learned how we can take a screenshot in a failed scenario taking an element uh, screenshot full page screenshot in both firefox and in another brow in other browsers as well 
okay so that's pretty much it for today about the selenium 4 feature but stay tuned we will be seeing some more selenium 4 features in detail so uh, do subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't thank you for watching